Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. Today we're gonna make a batch of beef feed. This may be the last batch we make before Big Black Steer goes and hangs up. Not sure, but we're gonna make it with the ear corn that you saw us pick earlier. That's multicolored, some is yellow, some is purple, and some is a white, purple, yellow combination. We've got dry molasses we're gonna put in there. We've got alfalfa cubes we're gonna put in there. We've got steak maker we're gonna put in there. And when we grind these cobs, we're gonna grind the ear, we're gonna grind the kernel, the cob, and a lot of it has a shuck in it. That is a ton of fiber, but cattle need a lot of fiber. So in my opinion, this is gonna work out great. Let's get to grinding it and we'll see what kind of feed we make. I'm gonna bring it up to the level since we're not grinding corn that's in bags. We don't know how much weight we've got as we do it, there's numbers up the side of this thing, and there's a chart here on there that tells us if it's ear corn, that number two is 1,566 pounds. So we're gonna take it to number two. So let's do it. mag mineral in there to mix with it and then we're going to go ahead and put the dry molasses in just dump it in there's a hopper in the back supposed to be to feed this in but it don't work so we're just going to dump it in the top mix it up and then we'll continue grinding our corn and uh, range cubes hopefully not range cubes alfalfa cubes Yeah, just dump her in. Don't dump it in the dump it in the wide channel, not the little auger.
right, here goes the music. And that signifies that we are done. We ended up with about a thousand pounds of feed. We didn't grind the full up to all the way number two. It seemed like it was laboring a little bit. The old machine didn't need to go no more. And for some reason, it felt like the feed was coming out fairly warm when we first started. And then as we emptied it, it cooled off. I don't know why. I ain't no mechanic and I don't understand these machines fully. I don't know why it did, did that at all. And I see we have a leak that we're going to have to fix. Matthew is a leak fixer extraordinaire. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Let's pan around there to Matt. Hey, Matt, leak fixer. <laughs> but you can see the leak is rather significant. All up in there. And there's the hole. Very significant hole, and that seemed to have just burst it out today. So we'll get that fixed. We've already patched like humpteen dozen. So... This feed looks and smells great. Now, I knew with all the shuck and all the cob that there was going to be quite a bit of flavor change for the old boy. So I put in the high mag mineral and the dry molasses to sweeten the deal for him. So we'll see if he eats it. But I think he will. I'll just take a little look here. And this, is, this is not warm at all. This is cool to the touch. It still has the beautiful green alfalfa, and it also has the great smell. I can see purple, see there? You can see the purple, the yellow, and the white corn. Ain't that pretty? Yeah. So we'll see how they eat it, but I have a feeling they're gonna love it. But that's all we've got for you today, because it's lunchtime. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.